Justina starts off this hour in Atlanta, Georgia. Hi, Justina. How are you? I'm doing well. How are you doing, sir? Better than I deserve. What's up? Okay, uh, my husband lost uh, his job a few months ago, and last year uh, I had another baby, so we expanded on our car, and we're a few months, a couple, three months behind on our car. I was just wondering, should we just go back to the dealer and give it to him, or what should I do in this situation? I try to pay a little bit because I don't have the amount to pay the whole car for the last couple months. What did your husband used to make? Uh, seventy-five. And he's been unemployed for how long? Uh, he has a job, but it's not even paying close to what, uh, he just got a job a couple months ago. He was off. He was, uh, September, the end of September, mm -hmm. and he got one, like, in the middle of, like, October, close so to what's, November. So what, what's he make now? It's about 30, like, not even a lot at all. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Are you working outside the home? I now, I just started working, mm -hmm. and I'm getting about... 400 I just started making about 400 a week. Okay. And uh what do you owe on the car? Uh like 14 something. Four, $14,000. Okay. Yes, sir. And uh what is your monthly payment? It was like 460 something a month. Good lord. You yeah. had you had bad credit, didn't you? Yeah, and we had another car, and, and uh, we owed a little bit up. on it, and they sold it, and it wasn't worth amount that we, um, uh, like, it was worth less than how much we owed, so it got rolled into what we were paying. Yeah. yeah. Um, I was like, I don't want to make that mistake again. I just want to see. I kind of yeah. just want to get it off my plate right now. Yeah, that would be nice, but you don't really have that as an option. You signed up for big girl stuff, which is a car payment. Yeah. So uh -huh. if you take it back to the dealer, that's called a repossession. Uh -huh. And what they're going to do in a repossession, whether it's voluntary or otherwise, is they're going to sell the car on a repo lot, which means it's not going to bring very much. And okay. they're going to come to you for the difference, and when you don't pay it, they're going to sue you for that difference. That's called, The difference is called a deficit. And so uh -huh. what do you think the car is worth? Do you have any idea? Um, Maybe 10 maybe. Okay. Then maybe they sell it for 7 instead of 10 on a repo lot. Uh -huh. And they come after you for the 7 difference if you owe 14. Do you see what I'm talking about? Yes, sir. And so you're better off to try to figure out a way to get the car sold and keep it in the meantime. However, three months behind puts you on the repo list. Yeah. So they're, they're out with a tow truck looking for this car. Yes, sir. Um, who do you owe this money to? Um, Wells Fargo. Oh, Lordy. Hey, boy, you signed up for it, didn't you? Um, yeah. I'm, and the car payment is 460 and and you're three payments behind, so you need like 1500 bucks. Yeah. Wow. Your husband's new job is paying how much? It's paying 30000 and he's working like 40 he's, he's working 40 hours a week? About. Okay. Is he working at night? He's working through the day, and it's like through the day and night, and he comes back around evening evening time. So he's uh, every day, five days a week? Yeah. Okay. And so as of today, he's delivering pizza starting when he gets home and every weekend, which the okay. good news with that is you can make about a 1500 a month delivering pizza. And by the way, you've got a car to do that with. Um, and uh, to... You can get caught up in about a month. I don't want you to have to do that for long, but I want you to get caught up so they don't take the car. Because if they take the car, it finishes up what little was left of your credit. Pretty much destroys it. And, and you lose control of the situation because they're going to come after you for that difference. I would much rather you get caught up and then start working to pay the car down and get it sold. And then you sell it for a lot more than they'll sell it for. And so the amount of hole that you're in is a lot less. Is that logical to you? Yes, sir. Uh, should I try to pay maybe some uh, like a pinch of it? They now? won't. They like, won't. They won't take it. You need to be on the phone. You need to be on the phone talking to them, though. Okay. And if you can work out any kind of a plan with them, uh, while your husband's delivering pizza like crazy, to start sending them five hundred bucks here and five hundred bucks there. I mean, if you send them five hundred bucks every two weeks for the next next six weeks, that and you, that catches you up, they'll do that plan. Okay. But they're not going to just sit there and, and do nothing if you're doing nothing. They'll come after the car. Okay. But if you'll talk to him and get on the phone and say, all right, he's got a job delivering pizza. He's just gotten a new job. I've gotten a new job. 
we can pay you, you know, one payment every two weeks until we're current uh, and or something like that. I don't know if you can or not. You have to do your budget and work that out. I don't know yeah, what your other moved out of our rent situation to so we don't have to pay rent right now. So I'm trying. That's to, like, a big save. deal. Yeah. So here's your, here's your priorities: food and water and lights and shelter are first. Transportation is next. So before you're paying some student loan or some credit card or some other bill that you've got laying around, you're catching this car up. Okay. Because this is going to cost you like four or five thousand bucks extra if you do this wrong. Okay. And you don't have that room to wiggle. Does that make sense? Uh, it does. Okay. Have you ever heard of our class called Financial Peace University? I have. Have you, guys been, have you been through the class? Not yet. Okay. You're in desperate need of some financial peace, aren't you, kiddo? Yes, sir. All right, darling. I'm going to put you through the class if you and your husband will attend. He's going to miss some nights because he's going to be delivering pizza. Yeah. All right. Yes, sir. If you'll promise me you guys will roll up your sleeves and bust on this, I'll show you how to get through it. It's what we do. You hold on, and I'll have Kelly pick up, and we'll get you signed up for the class. But I've been where you are. It's scary. It's scary to walk out in the driveway and wonder if your car's going to be there in the morning. I've had that feeling. And um, I've had the feeling of wondering when I get home tonight if the lights are going to turn on when I turn them on. I mean, it takes your breath away. It puts a different kind of stress than just, oh, I, I owe some money. That's one level of stress. But uh, when the basics like that are getting ready, you're getting ready to get kneecapped, you know, on your basics, your transportation and stuff like that. I'll tell you, man, when you get repoed, it feels like somebody stole your car. It activates the same part of your emotions, for those of you that have never been through it. It's horrid. It's a horrible thing to go through, what she's facing, and how scared you get. I mean, you got little kids to feed and you're trying to do grown up stuff and we're running around here and, and, you know, we're trying to find a, you know, got a place to live with no rent so we can catch up and get a job making half of what I was making. And man, that's scary. That's legitimately scary. The good news is it's not permanent. This too shall pass. As long as you work a system, you work a plan to fix the career and, and uh, you know, stay out of the stupid zone where you don't end up with $460 car payments on a $14,000 car. Wow, is that mathematical suicide. So that is something she needs to get rid of. But let's not get rid of it in the wrong way because it sets us back on our heels. We'll never catch up. This is the Dave Ramsey Show. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, click the subscribe button to get the latest content and check out these other great clips from the show. Thank you.